Guitarist. Um, uh, this is a bit of a follow on from the uh, Spark Spark Camp Positive Grid. I got off the marketplace at absolute rock bottom price, and uh, this is a few weeks in now. Um, you know, getting to, getting used to all its controls and functions and you know all the rest of it. And I've got to say, I am properly properly impressed with what this thing can do. It's absolutely insane. Um, at the moment I've got uh, dialed in from the Tone Cloud, so I didn't make this one myself. It's uh, it's called a Hendrix Vibe, is, is the name of the patch. Now I had to tweak it a little bit because these, uh, these amps are incredibly bassy, there's a lot of bass to them, but the tone cloud lets you tweak all the settings on on the amp type the pedals and stuff so i just rolled off the bass uh, a little bit and it now sounds like this <laughs> absolutely love it absolutely blown away that i honestly believe to get that kind of sound in this uh you know, on today's market, you're going to have to spend some serious money on some potential, you know, some potentially vintage equipment, you know, some old school tube driven Fender amps and, you know, crazy old, very expensive pedals. So on the budget theme, this is bang on the money. Even if you was to buy it brand spanking new, I think they're about 250 quid still. Um, but it is absolutely ridiculous what this thing can do. There are hundreds of thousands of patches and tones and setups in the tone cloud, and uh, this is now my go to uh, tone, my go to sound. I absolutely love it. Now, for a long time, I did think you know, for well, I say a long time, um, when I first saw these, I was watching the videos you know on the YouTube and, and using the Google and finding out all about them. And they did seem a bit gimmicky, and I was convinced it was a gimmick. It was just, you know, no different from any other um, modelling amp that needed an app, and it did all this fancy stuff. But um, my mind has completely changed. This is something else, absolutely something else. Uh, the great thing about it is, is it reacts to the pickup selection, the pickup selector. So if this was one of those other gimmick you know, Bluetooth amps, then regardless of where you would have the pickup, it would convert that signal into the tone it's making, and you wouldn't have the uh, the different tone qualities by using the different pickups. But this does that. So on the uh, neck pickup, next one down. It responds to the pickup you're using, which is absolutely insane. Um, I think this tone is definitely, it definitely suits me. It's definitely, you know, suits my uh, kind of music I like to play, you know. Um. absolutely love this little thing um, and a great thing about it as well is it seems to work well with my boss me70 so 
I don't know if you watched my previous video, so I, I sort of, you know, very simply modified the Boss ME70 so I can just use the wire. <laughs> insane <laughs> uh, it works good if you put a modulation over the top of it I quite like the sound of a phaser um, so that's just a spark doing its thing and this is with the phaser on the boss pedal <laughs> absolutely no issues whatsoever in sound quality or anything like that it's accepting the pedal just fine and i'm pretty sure it'll ex you know it'll it'll accept any other kind of pedal um so now i've got a tone a sound i really really like i can use my boss me pedal so i can use my wire i can use my effects and uh now, because the, so I think there is actually, so Positive Grid are actually bringing out a, you know, a, a specific um, foot controller for this amp. But the only thing I like to do with my, to be a control of is mm, nothing. Because that's my go-to sound, it's my go-to tone. It's saved as a preset in the amp. The firmware is up to date, so it shouldn't drop its fill. It should always recall that. And even if for some reason it did, it's very simple just to use the uh, use the computer and Bluetooth the the patch back into the amp. It's very very easy. But onto the foot controller, because the ME seventy works really really well. The only thing I wanted to, wanted to I'd want to add to that so I'd be playing the sound with just as is with a little bit of modulation and then drive it ever so slightly with a fuzz of the thing just sounds insanely good insanely good um yeah i absolutely love it sold sold i would highly recommend it to anybody you know that wants the ability to create any kind of tone you know from any artist this positive grid's where it's at if it's bang on for the money for what it can do it's absolutely insane absolutely love it um what's coming up next oh so it is only a 80, uh, 40 watt amp, and if you watched one of my previous videos, I was trying to somehow modify it and get it to run out of a cab. Now, I don't understand the speakers, I don't understand the ohms, and what I didn't want to do is run the risk of breaking this, because this is, this is just mega, and it's not worth, you know, me trying to take it apart and connect it to speakers and all the rest of it, so... I used the very last, very last of my profits out of my Facebook Marketplace wallet. I used actual cash, um, and I bought something that's actually brand new, and it arrives today. It's a let me get this right. What's it called? Oh my god! Uh, it is a Harley Benton Custom Thunder ninety nine, and what that is is a pedal sized power amp. So what that will be able to, what will that, that will let me run a line out of, out of the headphone jack on the Spark into the mini uh, power amp and then the, this mini power amp as stereo out. So I can have two speaker cables running into any of my cabs and I can create stereo tone sound or I could just simply rewire one of my cabs to make it stereo you know, one on one on left and right, but um, yeah, I won't be messing with that until it arrives. So if you want to see how that goes, um, then uh, give us a give us a subscribe. Press the um, press the little 
bell and you'll be notified on my next video, which is going to be that Harley Benton one. Thank you very much for watching.